I'm Anthony Analetto, President of the Equipment Division here at Sunny's. And welcome to our first virtual trade show that exposition that we're going to put on for you to help see more about what we're doing. And welcome to Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Unfortunately, nobody has a crystal ball. We don't know where the COVID-19 is going to take us, but I know one thing for sure. I'm real confident that we're going to get through this and we're going to come out stronger than ever. And one thing that I do know is that once we do reopen and once the public is back on the roads and excited about being able to enjoy their lives, they're going to be looking for a place to clean their cars. And the ones that are doing it the best are going to reap the big, biggest rewards. So we're here to show you some of our new innovations that can help you be ready to take care of those customers once they get back on the road again. We at Sunny's have been working really hard at putting together a virtual trade show that you guys can enjoy and we can com communicate our new innovations to you as well as some of our things that are going on in the industry and things that can help you make you better when this all turns around. We actually took all of the equipment or a big chunk of it that we were going to set up at the San Antonio trade show and we set it up in an open warehouse that we just took over uh, down at the Sunny's factory. We're up here at a car wash that I just took over. My son's been, been redoing it and developing it. It's got some of our latest and greatest pieces in it. And we've also been in a couple of local car washes where we have our prototypes. Um, we're, we're willing to, we're going to show this and share it with you. Um, and we're doing it in the safest manner. We are working, we're shipping equipment every day, uh, we're getting parts out every day, but we are practicing our distancing, we are keeping our people working in separate areas, they've got plenty of room around them, plenty of air circulating, um, and we're doing the best we can. Uh, as, as always, the concerns of our family and our friends are most important, we want to make sure we're all safe, our employees are safe, but we will continue doing this as long as we can. So normally we'd, we'd get together with a few of the people that are responsible for every division and we'd have some questions and answers. I'd ask them questions, they'd feed them answers and you guys would learn a lot. Uh, because of the social distancing, we're going to zoom in and go from person to person in their area of specialty and they're going to communicate to you just what they've done so far this year to make our equipment better, what are the new features about it and what things you need to know uh, and how they'll serve us better. Uh, we are doing the best we can. We're going to try to help do our part to flatten the curve and we're going to do it as responsibly as possible. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now I'm going to take a tour around my car wash where I'm going to show you a few of our new items. Reggie will show you a couple of new features from the control side and I think you're really going to enjoy it. After that, we're going to take a walk down to the factory and we're going to be able to see some of the new equipment that's there set up between signage, uh, new top brush, uh, a couple new pieces and you're going to look forward to really seeing these. Come on, let's take a look. Hey, a lot of you folks have asked us for a, a top brush that'll fit in between our two wraparounds, basically a spider top brush. The Spider 901 Mitter has been one of our best selling pieces of equipment for about 10 years now. And it's really been a strong piece and we've always talked about doing a front to back and a side to side to get different cleaning motions. But with the, with the improvement of the foam and the, the products that are on the top brushes, the top brush has really become a great piece of equipment. We've built our 2K14 top brush, which is a standard four-legged, sturdy, strong uh, unit to just wash the top of the cars. And then we came up with our DCW a few years ago that actually changes the direction on the roof to go back and wipe and clean the back of the car under the spoilers, somewhere where no one's been able to get completely before. Um, in doing that there, we said, okay, we got a lot of people that are old school, still have our, our 901 side-to-side -side combination for the two, motion, two motions in the car wash. And we figured, let's give them a top brush that they can use and actually replace their emitter and put in a top brush. And here it is right behind me. We actually went and took out our gusset. We took the whole 901 top frame out, uh, the, the framework and the basket. And with that same motor and the motor starter that was running that emitter, we're able to run the motor for this unit here. So it is electric drive. And basically, this whole stainless steel assembly bolts in where our gusset used to bolt in to support the, the wraparound. The counterweight is all stainless steel, all powder coated, but the arm and the cross beam that drives the brush is all aluminum to keep the weight down so we can manage it better. A couple things we did was we added a shock absorber here for stabilizer so that it slows down and controls the motion up and down. And then we also went to a two position cylinder. It's a dual acting cylinder. We've got a four inch stroke in the bottom. We have a 10 inch stroke up top. Um, the bottom section is the, if it comes down and it is a, we detect a high hood on a pickup truck or we have a visor, this is the one that'll adjust that position for that point. When we bring it all the way down and we activate this small one to put it up, it'll raise that brush about four inches above where it would normally start in a car and that'll make it not do any damage, not catch the hood, not catch the bug deflector, but still be able to clean the car properly. And that's where it would start on one of those vehicles. And then we're done, we put it all the way up in the air and it'll be fine. So this is a really nice piece. Again, I think it's going to be most effective at first as a conversion kit for anybody who wants to get some top brush cleaning in their tunnel that has two meters. And then for those of you who really like the top brushes and want to embrace the, the spider combo, this is it. 
And what I like about it is, it still has four legs. It's not a one-armed piece, it's not a one-legged piece. It's gonna be durable, it's gonna last a long time, reliable, and give you a great, clean, dry, shiny car. So I hope you enjoy it, take a look at it. If it's something you can fit in your tunnel, give us a call, we can hook you up. And if you're designing a new one, ask the guys for the Spider Top Rush by Sunnies, and that's the next piece you can put in there as well. Hi everyone, I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about one of our new innovations. It's our self-cleaning vacuum separator. Again, it's really important today, we've got the vacuums working in all of our full service car washes and, and everybody's gotta clean those out every night and there's a lot of work with the bags. In the express market as well, it's the same thing. We're getting busier and busier and the vacuums are holding, they're taking a lot of dirt, they got a lot of uh, material cycling through them and to clean the bags and shake them down is kind of a problem and the, the this kind of dirt we're getting into the separator is very fine. Our little cyclone separators separate the solids, keep the pipes clean, make the vacuums continue to run, but all that gets passed there is a really fine silt. So we've come up with a vacuum separator that's got um, pleated filter uh, units in there, there's four of them. It's more surface area than 10 bags. So that it gives us more airflow, more, more pull. It's still a stainless steel can. It's got uh, a, a suction line coming right off the top, similar to our cyclone separator. Helps create that air to spin in a cyclone effect and take the dirt at an angle straight into the bucket and keep most of it down there. What gets up in the filters, we've got an air system and a bladder tank behind here we'll show you that basically on a timer, it'll actually go on every hour or every 30 minutes or every two hours and cycle through each one of the filters and blow all of that particulate out and back into the bottom of the tank. And this is gonna allow you to keep running and provide maximum suction, keep your customers happy, speed up the service, and make it easier and cleaner for your employees to maintain and take care of the unit. Hey, I want to talk about one more innovation. This is called our finishing arch. This is the result of us coming up with some new products for the car wash tunnel, especially the Ceramic X3. The third step of ceramic happens down here at the final rinse area. And to put it up on a rain arch and not have any signs and not have a place to mount it was going to be a tough thing to do to help confirm to the customer we're getting that service that they are paying for. So we took our media arch legs and a media arch frame and we kind of adapted it with some double-sided unistrut as braces so we can virtually mount anything to this arch. We can put uh, signs and, and lights on the front side to tell them they're getting the third step of the process. We can put um, lights or rain bars or stream foamers like we're going to do here um, to show that we're putting the product on. We can put mirror attachments on the sides. We can do side shots of rinsing or, or waxing. Anything we want in this arch here as well. Also, with the media arch, there's three inch holes at, up and down the arch, so all of our cables and hoses can be hidden inside the legs and going up across the top, which makes it a much cleaner look in that area. Um, I think this is gonna be a great addition um, to, to, be, to upgrade your tunnel. If you're gonna do the um, X3, or if you're just building a new tunnel and you wanna add some more signs talking about spot-free water rinse or, or the last wax process you have, and identify that to the customer and actually light it up so it actually looks like another service, just not just a rinse. So take a look at this here, and it may fit in your tunnel, it might be a great upgrade, and I think you really enjoy how it uh, satisfies your customers. We left the factory, we're up here in Stewart at my, uh, my car wash that I'm doing here with my son, and I wanna go a few, a few of the items that are, that are on the new product list for this year. Uh, first one is the Media Arch. This is something that we've been working with a little bit, trying to incorporate a few of the things um, that really we need at the beginning of the car wash. The projector up above, and it carries the Sunny's pivoting projector. So we're getting about a five foot read on the windshield. Where before, we were just going right up over the windshield and it was gone. Now we're actually pivoting and following to the windshield. We kind of showed that at the trade show uh, last year. The media arch though, we've got it at a regular um, 100 inch height, and we can even go to a 12 foot height. The nice part about this here is with our long extension brackets that mount our signs with a 24 inch bracket, this was intended to be up front. This, the big GE arch on, mounted to the face of it. Uh, sonar mounted up top, our CTAs mounted at the bottom, our photo eyes mounted on it, the projector mounted on it, and all of our foamers to do our first application arch right there mounted on the arch with our lights and everything. So it takes the installer's job, makes it easier because they can run their lines not only down to the arch, we've got three inch holes all the way down the side, every unit right. Everywhere we're gonna put a foam generator, we're snaking our hoses inside. Our photo eye lines inside, all of it hidden. So it's, it's gone from view and the customer doesn't see it. It makes a nice cleaner front entrance. So this is our media arch. If you wanna do the projector, you wanna say thank you, you wanna congratulate them for buying a wash, you wanna follow along, this is the way to do it. Get the media arch, hide your hoses, mount all of your chemicals on it, 
If you can do it out front, put your grand entrance arch on, on, the, on the front of that unit and save a lot of space and condense it so you can actually add more equipment. But this is the, a great piece. It's the media arch. Talk to the reps, they'll show you how to lay it out, put it in your tunnel. Okay, here we are down at the blowers again. And last year we introduced our single V. A uh, really nice piece, a little bit more performance and movement of water than the single round for a flash dry. It worked real well. Well, our, our, our partner that was doing the nozzles, we actually said, hey, let's, what if we take the Doug's bill, turn it into a V? So we got the double V. So we have the double V, we have the single V, and then we also have now at the very end, our flip V. The whole idea of the V nozzle is when it hits the car, it moves water, not only back, but out to the sides. It's much easier to move water three feet right, three feet left than it is 10 feet or 20 feet up over the hood of the whole front and back of the car. So by putting all these together, we're actually spreading water out, we're moving it again, we're keep moving the right direction. Um, the mammoths together in different places really work well. We're flipping these at the mirrors. Again, I'm gonna say it again, if you don't flip at the mirrors, you're missing out on the performance of the mammoths. And you need two sets to do that correctly. But single V, double V, if we have the room and one more arch, then we can do our, our split Vs. When we get down to the end, we have a round pivoting nozzle here just to get most of the water off the car. And then we also have now our flip V. So it's doing the same thing. It's going up over the hood, just like the first one, shoving everything out to the sides, making sure we get rid of all those drops. And when it flips over, it does the same thing. It flips over and it blows the water not only down, but it blows it down and out. So we're actually stripping that water down and we're drying all the way down to the bumper. The car is so dry when it goes into the bumper dry that we get the best quality car I've ever seen. What you guys get to benefit from this year is you get to benefit from the new blower arch. And the compact blower arch is set up so that basically we have, we have two six by four cross beams going straight across from front to back. And then we have the beam sitting on top. So it's nice and open at the bottom. Imagine eliminating one or two of those legs that are in the way. And it's got a nice open feeling for the customers. And it doesn't look crowded. It doesn't look any congested. It looks like the, the blowers are all suspended in the air just doing their job. So go online, take a look at our compact blower arch and we can help you figure out how to do a nine, 10, or 12 position nozzle, and we'll put them in position, show you exactly where to put them so you get the cleanest, the driest, best finish that we can do with our blowers today. It's always been a challenge, but I think we've got this one figured out. You're gonna love the way this works. All right, so I'd like to join Reggie and, and, and watch what he teaches you about the controller and about uh, some of the new features in the, uh, the, the, the LPR and the digital queue and the auto and the smart queuing. Um, but I can't be with him, so uh, he's going to show you all by himself. So Reggie, take it away. Hi, I'm Reggie Flanagan, Vice President of Sunny's Car Wash Controls. And I'm glad that you guys were able to take a few minutes today and uh, get a little tour of our back office, our new features that we've released over the months, and uh, some of the new product launches. So this is our back office platform. <clears throat> it's been around for a while, but uh, in our true fashion of how we release uh, monthly software updates. We've actually released quite a bit over the past year since last ICA. So we have uh, quite a bit with uh, loyalty. So this will be a loyalty program. You can enter any kind of custom text on it. They can sign up for it. You can send them a discount through text and they'll be able to come back in, redeem a free wash or any kind of a discount you would like. Uh, we also have SMS broken into uh, different categories so you can send one out to all customers just your recurring members and then we have quite a bit of other fun things that we've created for LPR so this would be your lottery wash so you actually can give on certain days of the week you can give uh, a wash out the 500th visitor can come in and actually redeem a free wash uh, along with some of the retargeting so if somebody comes into your wash however many times you configure, you can give them a custom message and then you can run a report to see how many people you're converting to your club members. So it's been quite a bit in that area. Uh, some of the things we've always had uh, for our campaigns, your one-time use codes, and so that you can generate 20,000 one-time use codes, distribute them out. Uh, same thing with event promotions. That's uh, your buy this, get that, and your happy hours. So it's really, it's so easy that if you're in front of your wash at a red light, you can pull out your phone, you can set up a discount and pull around the corner and pull in. You see the discounts already on your pay station. Everything is instant. Uh, we have our e-commerce side of things. 
which is this other side, what we can show here. We've enhanced it quite a bit for the login and installing an app. So with just one click, someone can install this app on their phone, on their computer, on their iPad, anything. And it's the same, utilizing the same code and everything for as a normal size e-commerce site. So from your side and your customer side, when it's time for us to push out new software and they get an update, it's an instant update. Uh, they don't have to go anywhere, they don't have to download anything, you're not driving anyone away from your actual online store to download an app. You keep the shopping experience very simple, app downloads in the background. So that's some highlights of uh, what we've done in the back office over the past year. Now I'm going to talk about the Digital Q. This, uh, this fun product, we're putting a lot of them in the field now. It's a great resource, uh, it allows your actual loader and attendant just to focus on loading cars and not as much of reordering it, making sure the car gets the right wash. Uh, from here, we do take a picture of the front of the vehicle when they're at the pay station. That's transmitted to this device, and we'll actually recognize if someone bought a membership, uh, if their name's in the system, you can welcome them by name, you can welcome them to uh, actually your club. Everything is drag and drop to be able to shift it all around. You can expand to see an entire view. Start your conveyor, stop your conveyor, do a wet down. You can add vehicles. You can do retracts from here as well. Another really cool feature about this is you can go and you can see the progression of the vehicles in your tunnel. And if you need to apply a retract, say somebody clears the photo eyes and your guy notices that they have a giant trailer hitch, you can come in here, you can apply additional retracts after they've already cleared the eyes. So there's a lot of cool features there with that. and you live stream all your lanes. So if you're maybe in a blind spot, your team can actually go to the lanes side and see actual streams of the lanes of the cameras. So it's quite a bit of detail, very simple to use interface. You can't really go wrong with just drag and drop, moving something over. Hey, I see a red car on the screen, but uh, it's a blue car that's coming at me. Quickly just come over here, shift things over, and you have everything in the order that you wanted. So we added this, and then we added this new uh, camera. It's an LPR camera, and so that's our uh, LPR Smart Cue. And I'm going to show you a little something about that, that when it reads a plate as the plate is entering the tunnel, and will automatically reorder it. So when I said have your loader thinking about safety and loading people on, that's a great feature to have where it's just automatically looking at the license plate, moving them from wherever order they're in to the to the correct spot. I'm here at in, the, in the field at Monster Express in Stewart, Florida. I wanted to show you how it looks. Uh, this is one of the ways that we do it. Uh, this is, it's really field mounted. Uh, we found this was the best way for the layout here at Monster. Uh, sometimes we'll use an enclosure or we'll even go all the way above head with a sky mount. But what we did here, when the vehicles do pull up, if they get out of order in the lanes, we'll be able to they'll automatically reorder. So again, like I said before, the guy standing at the tunnel loading cars, all he has to do is focus on safety and getting the vehicles on. And instead of reordering the queue, making sure that everybody gets the vehicle or getting the watch that they purchased. Now, if we go over here, I'll show you actually an action on our digital queue. Now what you guys just saw there was the white van made a purchase before the black SUV. For some reason that white van pulled over, black SUV got in front, they're now out of order. You see here, this is the white van, did the purchase first, first one in queue. This is the black SUV. And then instead of needing to actually reorder it, all we have to do is stand here, load the black SUV on, and we're gonna see it switch from here to here. And there it is. All right, so there you just saw everything switch, so it instantly, move the black car over right when we ride the plate. Nothing to worry about. I'm here, I'm loading vehicles, making sure everybody's safe, all the cars are prepped, and everyone's getting through the tunnel quickly, not worrying about my queue, and my customer got the wash they purchased. Since we were just talking about LPR Smart Queue, I wanted to point out 
digital queue was also where we were seeing the, the picture switch of what's in the queue. So I'm going to take a minute, come over here to the islands and just show you one of our setups. This is a Monster Express setup. Uh, we're doing one post with two heads. It all depends on your location, if you're going to do a one post per lane or if you're able to do something like this where you get the combo out of two. But putting this with LPR Smart Queue is extremely key because then you're able to see everything that, that shift around and it's a perfect combination. Uh, so this was a great addition that we released. We've got a lot of people putting in that third lane that they want as a VIP lane. Uh, so this is our VIP lane right here. It's a shrunk down, more cost effective uh, pay station. Doesn't distribute barcodes, have receipts, take, take cash. It's mainly for your VIPs, your memberships. So they can pull through, quickly get processed. And if there's a reason that they need to update their credit card, they can do all of that here. They can upgrade their wash. So it just really separates them out. Same great features as uh, the pay station. It still has a security door, uh, all the custom paint, the custom decals, custom screens. So it really gives a great VIP experience to your members. And uh, now to the last piece, I'm going to take you over to the Motor Control Center. All right, so this is our uh, smart MCC. We've been working very hard on this one. Uh, it's put together with the inside. We have TSIS Islands that are uh, your contactors. We'll keep track of all your motors. A uh, great thing about this is you can actually program all this from our back office. So just like you're able to program your tunnel controller, you have complete control of actually programming this as well. And we're gonna treat this just like we do all our other products and continue to release new features with it as it continues to grow and we find new things in the field that we want to track and monitor. And so this interface here, this would just be your typical HMI. Uh, you're able to control your VFDs. Right now we're controlling uh, these cute little things over here. And then each one of your islands. So you can see the motor usage, uh, the amperage, if something's been blown, what it is and we'll be building this out with more alerts in the future so that you can actually get alerts on your phone when there is a problem. Maybe we're starting to detect that uh, there's some anomalies when it comes to patterns of your motor current and then we'll be able to send an alert out to you. And keeping in mind that you know, we did build this, you can also we incorporate our Sunny's tunnel controller in there as well. So this is a full setup here with our Wago PLC, E1, same thing as our tunnel controller. We can actually remote into this to provide support, which is a great thing to do versus uh, taking pictures and uh, sending those back and forth. So with that, I want to thank you for watching my presentation and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys at ICA next year. Thank you. As you can see behind me, I really love the signs. I love the monsters. Uh, we've got a great new one to show you this time. And uh, Jim's set up in the warehouse and he's gonna go and, and uh, take you through it. I'd like to be standing next to him and, and uh, make sure he keep, stays on track, but he's gonna have to do it on his own. So Jim, take it away, show him the new sign package. All right, so our first new innovation this year is uh, a, a collaboration between our team and the team up at G&G, &G, which have just been amazing. We've worked with the team at G&G &G for, I think, five plus years now. Uh, last year, we brought out the RGB Max, which was a great fixture, did multicolor, did single color, and uh, this year, we stepped it up. So this year, we're bringing out the Rainbow Max. So what the difference between the two is, same housing, IP68, uh, impact resistant, three-year warranty, all made in the USA uh, by G&G. &G. But what's really great about this is there is no remote control, and he, we'll show you a close up of this later. It's all push button controlled now. So these are gonna be going live in about, uh, about two to three weeks. We're gonna start accepting orders for the ICA show. And what's neat about this is, is it does a number of different patterns, and we're even gonna have a few more than what you're gonna see today. So if I hold that button down, I'm now single color. No more remotes to lose, I know. You guys have lost the remotes. You can yell at me again another time. With this particular unit, there is no remote. It's built right into the side. So now single push, we're on red. Single push, we're on green. Now we're so on and so forth. We've got all the different colors as we come through. And then if we hold back down for a few seconds, we're right back into here. This is a swiping pattern. Now we've got a different style swiping pattern. And the neat part is, all it is is a double push. 
and suddenly everything starts speeding up. Now we can do a cool Knight Rider style function. Now we've got a different color, but this thing is really awesome. Uh, the, the Rainbow Max is really a step up. The super bright, we've redone the optics to where instead of just being clear, we now have a, a piece on here that kind of deflect, diffuses it. And then also, every one of these is built with a secondary optic which is built in to be aimed, whether it's front or back, at the sheet or stream or whatever you're doing. You can actually get a little bit of aim into it. So this is the new G&G &G Rainbow Max fixture. These are the new G&G single color Maxis. So these are 350 watts, single color, red, blue, amber, yellow, purple, I'm probably forgetting one. But these, these guys right here are super bright. And the nice thing is that same piece that we were talking about that we have that same um, di a diffuser on it that also aims at the sheet. So as you can see here, we've got a blue and we also have our purple. These guys, same thing, IP68. They have a new cable connector that is, is waterproof. It's, it's not the plug-in style one from before. Really, really nice setup. Same mounting brackets. Um, these things are bright as heck. Three-year warranty, no questions asked warranty. Um, I think you guys are really gonna like, it, like these. So if you're looking for your single color in the tunnel, these guys are the way to go. Super bright, lightweight. Oh, and by the way, I didn't talk about it with the Rainbow Max. These guys are $899.99. The Rainbows are $999.99. So we've lowered our prices. We've got higher quality, brighter. I think it's a win for everybody. Hope you guys like them. On the installation side, the replaceability, this one is awesome. So what we've created is all of our signage now uh, for our arches uh, are, are running with a modular system. So when I say modular, every one of them now is with a swivel bracket. So what that allows us to do is when we ship these to you, we're shipping those out as individual panels. It also allows us to lock these in a little bit differently on the shipping, cause less damage on LTLs. But what makes it really neat is, if let's say you were running behind on your designs, we can ship you the arch, and then we can ship you these panels later. So you can still finish your tunnel and, and have everything ready to go. So every single arch we make, whether it's the monster arch, the galaxy arch, the flex arches, all the ones that we do are now coming with these modular brackets, which are super nice. They lock in with stainless steel hardware. And the nice thing is if you already have a quad X arch, let's say your, your, your pre-soak arch is there, but you don't have something on the front, you don't even need to buy an arch now. We can just put this on your existing arch. We can also do all of our, our module, like our flex pieces. We can do those and you can stick them right on your existing arch. So this is our, our new innovation, which is our, our fully modular design. And the nice thing is it really gives a nice stiff feel to it as well. So I think you'll like it. All right, so last year we brought out our lollipop fixtures, uh, which are, were the round tunnel fixtures. And we'll show you those as well because we've actually redesigned those. This year uh, is what we call our squally pops. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's a square lollipop, thus the name squally pops. We had a little debate here and uh, some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's pretty cool. So these are our squally pops. Uh, but the neat thing is, is I really what I want to show is not only did we have a new version, we actually have a complete new build. So before we had these separated with that curved front, and the reality of it is it's really not a very watertight fixture. So with this, it's all one panel, and the nice thing is, is the actual piece that lights this up is one panel with one controller, one power supply, and it really makes this thing much more bulletproof, especially in a super wet environment, which is where most of these guys are. So this is our Squally Pop. Now the Squally Pop, even though I know on the LED lights, we didn't like remote controls. On these ones, we have to have remote controls. Nice thing is these are down. The LEDs are usually up in the air, so it makes it a little bit easier. But the neat thing with this is there's 99 different modes and you can, you can speed it up. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And the neat thing is you can change this up. So even though the centerpiece is gonna stay the same, I can go and enter that guy. Now we have a completely different look. 
So as you go through the tunnel, you know, you want to, you can even make it a single color. You can do anything you want with these. It's 99 functions plus all individual colors. So these things are awesome. So this is the new Squally Pop. And also the Lollipop is now built the exact same way. Just a round top. So I hope you guys like them. Uh, they look super cool in the tunnels, especially the real dark tunnels. Uh, these things really look amazing. Thanks a lot. One of our new innovations for 2020 is the G&G Bendable Light. The light comes in four foot, six foot, eight foot. The beauty of it is it's a direct feed 110 volt AC. So the reality is you don't need an extra power supply. You don't need to put a second box in. You run your 110, get it put right in, you're back on. But really what is awesome with this is the fact that it is truly bendable. Bendable by hand, with no heat, nothing like that. Of course, you're gonna bend it to your exact specifications, put it up on there. And there you have it, super simple. Anybody can do it, you're not fighting with it, you're not getting creases. This is IP68, this is also includes a three year warranty as well. And the nice thing with ours are, is it comes with a kit. So we'll, you have an actual bracket here that's gonna mount right to the outside, so it's a no drill. Some of the ones out there in the field, you see them drilling into the vacuums. If you put a hole in the vacuum, as you're, as you're sucking through, you're catching debris. And then the nice thing with this is, you can clamp them on very quickly, very little labor, very little time to get them installed. You can fit these on anyone's booms. And the nice piece is, is the clamp that we send you is gonna go right around the outside, and then it'll clamp on here. This is the eight foot version of the G&G bendable light fixture for your vacuum booms. So 2019, we brought out the Ceramic X3 process. It's a three-step online process of our new ceramic product. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to show you guys what it would look like in a smaller scale piece. So we got this hood and we treated the left side with the three steps of the Ceramic X3. The right side is untreated. We made this super cool arch to kind of show you all what it looks like if you add in all the, the bells and whistles and all the package to your wash. It's pretty cool, I've never made a mini arch, so I'm gonna keep this one for my office. So as you can see, what's really unique is, you see how it looks like this side is laying flat, the water's just not breaking or beating or exploding off the paint. Whereas on this side, you see it exploding and it's separating off and coming off the car really, really nice. The Ceramic X3 process gives the added bonus of making more money and, and being able to get an upcharge on their top package. Being able to take it from, let's say, a $20 package to a $25 package. The neat thing with the ceramic process, it's a, what they call a covalent bond. And what that means is, as your customers come through, the more they use it, the more it, it layers. It doesn't just come off, you can keep layering on top of each other, and that's gonna give you a better, better result every time they come through. One of the other great benefits of this is, as the customer puts it on, it helps you when they come back to get it clean. Bird droppings and some of the other uh, environmental things come off the car much easier when you use the ceramic. The more you do it, the easier it comes off. We've created a number of different packages with signage, lighting, all the bells and whistles to get you to that $5 upcharge or even better, the $25 package, and even better than that, a $40 or $40 plus monthly unlimited. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We'd love to teach you and show you the ceramic in person. I just want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out with us today. I know with all these crazy times and everything that's going on, we truly appreciate your time. I uh, hope you like some of the new stuff we have at Sunny Signage by Mr. Fomer. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Everybody be safe. We'll get through this. The car wash family is uh, strong and we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thanks a lot. So folks, I really want to personally thank you for joining us and logging in to watch what we did today. Um, it's important to all of us. It's an emotional time. Um, it's really important for us to be able to reach out and, take, and, and visit with our friends and our customers and uh, show you everything we can to help you become better and more successful. Um, it's important that we all work together to maintain our own strength and uh, keep everybody moving forward and in a positive manner. And um, we also want to make sure that we're ready to capture the business when this is over. I really look forward to seeing a lot of you at the next trade show or some maybe at a factory visit or just out and about around the country as we get to, to travel freely and visit some more washes and uh, be around the country. 
So again, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate you uh, joining us. It means a lot to us that you care that much to, to dial in and see it again, and you care about the business like we do. Uh, as always, I want to say thank you, good luck, and good washing. Welcome back to Virtual Car Wash Expo. I'm Bob Fox in the Car Wash College Classroom. I'm joined right now by Jim McClyman from Mr. Fomer, Katie, P Katie Pierce, excuse me, Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Sunny's, Ryan Cook, Vice President of Sales at Diamond Shine, Reggie Flanagan, Vice President of Sunny's Controls, and of course, Anthony Analetto, the Equipment uh, Division President here at Sunny's. Reg, good to see you. I haven't seen you in quite a while. You as well? I, I just watched your <laughs> presentation. And things looked, uh, things are really looking up. I, to date myself, my controller in my car wash back in the 90s was made by Westinghouse. It had 24 functions with toggle switches on the front door. And it was all run by a fuse about this big. And if that fuse would blow out, I'd go out to my lobby and get a car fuse and pop it back in there. If I didn't have the right car fuse, I'd run across the Winn-Dixie, get some aluminum foil, run back over there, wrap it around the fuse and pop that in and run on aluminum foil for a day. So <laughs> controls have advanced quite a bit since then. So anyway, uh, let's go right to the questions and they're, they're coming in pretty quickly. Tyler from North Dakota wants to know, if you do not have enough functions in my current controller for the new top brush conversion, do you have an option to add on functions? Uh, yes, we do. So depending on the size of your cabinet, there should be an expans expansion. So you would just, if uh, you've used up all your relays, then we would just get you another relay card and okay. you'd be able to program all the functions. How many do you have to buy at a time? Is there, is there a, an exit, uh, a numbers that you start at eight, eight additional, 10 additional? We do a 16. 16. A okay. 16. All right. Fair enough. Anthony, question for you. Remy from Norman, Oklahoma wants to know, with more airflow and pull, will the maximum quantity of drops increase for all horsepower vacuums? One more time, Buck. With more airflow and pull, oh. will the maximum quantity of drops increase on all the different with, vacuums? With the new, so in, in um, reference to the new separator, right? Correct. So, so I don't know that we're going to, we may actually get one more drop, but what we're really looking for is more consistent vacuum and suction um, with the turbine, no matter how long it runs, no matter how, you know, whether anybody cleans it or not. So by pulling from the top, we're using that cycle technology. We're making that air spiral around inside the tank which kind of helps to uh, increase that um, performance. And then I think uh, I the that. fact that the cylinders, <laughs> the filters will be cleaned on a regular basis with the automatic air blowdown, we're going to get much more performance. All right, good enough. I got another question coming in for Reggie. Uh, stand by, I clicked on the wrong box here. Reggie, do you have to buy the POS system in order to get a smart MCC? Uh, you do not have to buy the POS system to get a smart MCC. Okay. Uh, how, right would, now, how would they go about that? Uh, well, currently we've only incorporated the smart MCC with our tunnel controller. So we haven't done any retrofits with uh, any of the competitors out there. We've been focusing just on ours. So you would have to get our tunnel controller to actually be able to get take advantage of the smart MCC. Uh, okay. Everything we do pretty much communicates with each other. All right. Another LPR question or uh, controls related question. Would I be able to add the digital queue and or LPR to my existing controller and or a non sunnies controller? Uh, not a non sunnies controller. Uh, if you have an existing uh, Gen 2, which is our latest controller, uh, you can add LPR and you can add uh, smart queue and digital queue. But uh, if you just have say a, another controller, say watch pilot, our old one, or even some others that we support, you can get LPR with that as well, but you have to have our point of sale because that's where a lot of the processing takes place. All right. Let's see. Bill from Plantation. Let's see who I should direct this to. Oh, is Ryan on the line? We do have Ryan here. Would I need to add the fusion process in order to use a ceramic X3? No. Um, I mean, obviously, we think it's going to help build that, that top $25 package, but we, we anticipated that some folks that haven't done the fusion process yet, this would, this would be another opportunity for them to add those three, those, uh, three steps and really create a big difference at their car wash. Uh, we would still recommend doing the first part of the fusion process, which would be the bath, the prime, and the rinse, uh, just because that helps set the car up properly. 
but you could definitely uh, incorporate this into a car wash that doesn't have the, the entire fusion process. All right. There you go, Bill from Plantation. All right, Jackson from Plymouth. Will the new top brush spider frame take up more room than the standard 901 meter frame? I guess that is an Anthony Analetto question. Yeah, no, so the, the new top brush conversion piece is designed to fit into the 901 frame. For years, you know, you, you, you hear me talk about having multiple different wash angles. So we always had a front to back meter and then a side to side meter somewhere in the car wash before we actually brought out our last two top brushes. So there's a lot of those tunnels around and people would like to get the extra cleaning power of a top brush. So we made this one set up so you can actually unbolt and lower your, your 901 basket out. And this one here will bolt into the front frame of that 901, whether it's under a entrance wrap or um, we'll add a new header to it to give it some strength so we can put it on that unit. So it can be, it, it takes up the same space or no more space than the 901. Okay, so can you add wraps on both ends of that then? Absolutely, it'll fit, it'll fit within a spider frame as well. well that's a nice addition. Russell from Carson City. When will the items shown? <laughs> this is always a good question. When will the items shown in the videos be available for purchase? Let's start with Jim McClyman. All right, so we are. Uh, we'll start off with the Mountie brackets. That's actually been live for a few months now. Uh, we just haven't really shared it. We were super excited about it. So the new modular Mountie brackets are on every one of our arches except for the uh, five panel uh, GE arch. Those will be on there soon. Uh, the GNGs, which to me are really the most exciting thing we have right now. Uh, the single color maxes are live and ready for order now and starting to ship next week. The rainbow maxes are ready to order now and they're probably about two weeks out on that, uh, but they have been really kicking butt up there at GNG. So those are, those are ready to go. Squally Pops, the new Lollipops, those are live uh, as we speak. And I think I'm missing one, but I think it's live already. <laughs> Anthony, what about your stuff? What, is, what did you show off today that we have we can't sell yet? <laughs> all of it. The answer on the grounds that may incriminate all of us. Okay? <laughs> so we, we, we are, the, the vacuum tank is uh, is been in the field and running for about uh, two months. So we just got to scale up. Uh, we're still trying to get some cost out of the actual spinners that blow the filters down. That is the most expensive part of the unit. We've already taken it down one notch and our uh, partners are working on getting that down a little bit tighter. So I think that's probably about uh, three to six months away. Um, the top brush is actually being installed in an actual site this weekend. Uh, it'll actually go out there tomorrow night and be installed. We're gonna take down a 901 meter in a wash and put it up and run it. Um, it has been tested in the field with over a quarter of a million start stops just to test the strength and the, the fatigue of all the, the, the hub, the drive, the, the units retracting up and down, just starting and stopping. Uh, so we did that testing. So now we'll put it in the field, make sure it's okay. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to scale that. And again, within the next three to six months, be ready to roll. Uh, blower nozzles, all of the V nozzles, the split Vs and the flipping V, those are molds are out of um, manufacturing. They're being mounted. Uh, the first runs have been done on a few of the parts and they are, are on their way to us. There's a bunch made ready to ship. So they should be ready in just about a month's time. Uh, what else we got, Katie? Two products. That's it for now. But, but we're, we're working hard to get them all ready to go. If I missed any, they're probably three to six months away anyway. We'll keep updating the website <laughs> with the most current information. So as soon as those are available to ship on the new innovations page, we'll, we'll put that information up there. What about your stuff, Reggie? Uh, everything except the Smart MCC is available for uh, purchase and install today. Smart MCC, we've had it in the field for over six months now. We're just doing some final tweaks to the software. So hardware and everything on board is good. We're just making some final tweaks when our next release to uh, just some of the programming stuff. Other than that, everything is available for sale. Ryan? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, so the single step ceramic we should be putting out at the end of this month. Uh, we just, we're still doing some testing on it. We just got back results from third parties. So something we, we've started doing, uh, they think is kind of unique and different from a lot of manufacturers. We're actually sending out our products and benchmarking them against competitors with the third party. And we actually, send it out to a, a separate company who then contracts a third party company. So the third party company doesn't actually know that we're hiring them. And, um, and we just got back the results on our single step is really encouraging. 
And uh, so we're just going to finish up some field testing with that, and then we're going to be rolling that out. And then we've got uh, quite a few new products that will be coming out over the next couple of months. And X3? X3 is already available. I'm sorry. Yeah, so so this, all, this, all the X3 ceramic stuff we've been actually selling for a few months now. All right. Back to Reggie. Reggie, when you did the demo with the white van and the black SUV, did the switch occur because the camera read a front license plate? Uh, the camera actually read a back license plate. So okay. as uh, the vehicle was pulling onto the conveyor, we read the plate and we saw that it was in the queue and then we made the quick adjustment. All right. Let me see what else we got here. Anthony, is Sonny's working on a wider conveyor deck. <clears throat> what do you see the drawbacks being? We're washing more vehicles with much wider tires from Jeeps to supercars. Yes, we are washing all types of vehicles. Lambo, Avin Aventador still doesn't fit. I don't know what that is. Must be a Lamborghini of some type, which I'm not familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anthony, what are the that's drawbacks? Not the kind of Lamborghini that you have, Bob? <laughs> no, that's my Lambo is not an Aventador. It's uh... <laughs> so, Anthony, so, what do you see the drawbacks being of wider conveyor decks? So, we, we do make custom wide conveyor decks. We've gone as far as 15 inches, even 16 inches for, I think, Mario Andretti not, didn't have an Aventador, but it was a new Lamborghini. Uh, of sorts and so we, we've done that a couple of times and we can always do that we only move the outside rail um, it works well only if it is a rear wheel push conveyor because we have to have that angle iron above the concrete so we can't do it on a front wheel pull but if you are in a market uh, which very few people are they're going to wash those kinds of cars on a regular basis if you want to then we can make a custom top deck conveyor where we widen out just the pass just the driver's side rail and the tire always rubs against the same spot on the inside rail to keep everything centered so that we wash the car correctly. So that is available today as a All custom right. order. All right, back to Anthony. Will the new spider top brush be available in hydraulic and will it come with a DCW option? It will not come with a reversing option. It will be starting off as electric because where we want to put it, it's easy to take the electric um supply for the top motor of the emitter and use that there to run the top brush on the sides those that have bfds already on the emitters, something we started doing a few years ago putting a bfd on all the top uh, the 901 emitters, will be able to use that bfd if not they should be adding a bfd to the motor control center so they can adjust the speed of that top brush based on their conveyor traffic and then also be able to uh sense any overloading and cause any problems to make it retract out of the way so uh, a hydraulic will be available if uh, for someone to put in on a new install that want to use hydraulic, that'll become available as well. Hey, Anthony, mm -hmm. for people who are retrofitting their 901 to the new top brush, if they don't have the VFD for the emitter and they can't fit it in their cabinet, can they get a separate cabinet? Certainly can we make can. that? Yeah, they can buy a cabinet with one small VFD in it and they can just take the power that was running that drive through the side of the cabinet into that box and run it from with the same power source. Okay. Yep. All right, I got about two minutes left to go. So let me go back to uh, Reggie. Where did that question go that I just had for Reggie? Reggie, would I need a separate function in the controller for this self-cleaning function? Or the, on the vacuum cleaner? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's an Anthony question. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. No, so, no, so the, the solenoid valve on, on that unit, what you saw on the back of the tank was a, uh, a pneumatic tank that we charged with air. There are then four solenoid valves, one for each one of the, the pleated filters. And basically it's just 110 volts that's tied to a 110 circuit. And it's just a PLC with a, with a, uh, a clock and it'll just blow down, um, whether it's every hour, it'll blow down each one for 10 seconds. Um, and then that can be set up on a on a, a timed output if you want to, so it doesn't do it all night long, but it won't hurt it if it does it all night long. And if you shut off your air compressor at night and drain it out, it'll just cycle the valves to the process. So it does not need its own function. All right. Jimmy, if I wanted to add a remote control for the lights, am I able to, or would I have to purchase a different unit? I guess Steve from Van Buren really likes the old remotes that kept getting lost. <laughs> so we, we are actually not uh, discontinuing the, uh, the RGB Max. Uh, so the RGB Max came with a remote control. Uh, the new Rainbow Max, uh, because it, we built it to do different functions, so it has a swiping effect. It has uh, swiping. It's going to have a single uh, multi six lines of color. 
uh, and single color effects, that one will not have a remote. Uh, we, we really felt as though because those remotes have to be dialed into the specific light, it really wasn't losing the remote that was the big problem. It was the fact that every remote was had its own address to that light. And if it gets lost, you have to go in, you've got to pull it out. With this, you don't have to. Uh, you can be out and you want to make it red for the day. You click it, hold it in for about five seconds, cycle through, and you're on red. So with the with the Rainbow Max, we will not be offering a remote with that, uh, but we still do have the RGB Maxes as well. All right, we are out of time for this segment, but we do have a giveaway. We are giving away right now a One Wash membership. Katie, what does that include real quick? So this year's One Wash membership, we finally got what we wanted and everything ships free. Free. So, everything ships wow. free. <laughs> uh, free. <laughs> so that's the big thing with the one wash membership for 2020 all your parts ship free and this is standard freight so not expedited expedited is still 25 percent off um, but if you have a um, an ltl order say you're replacing all your chain and rollers that's going to ship free if you call up and order a vacuum that's going to ship free everything up to one truck load will ship free uh, all regular ground. So that's the big thing in it. Um, also free car wash college, because I know Bob, you want as many people in your classes as possible. So those that's are all the big free. thing in it. Free yes. car wash college class. And then the third big item in it is um, from SLAM and that's their sync uh, system. So Mike will come in and do a, an analysis of your online presence and help, help you get that all fixed up and and get you on your way that uh get you on your way with that so those are the three big things in our one wash membership the price for this year and this again is per location um so if you have three locations each individual site needs to join um it's 9.99 so it's a great deal so even if you aren't the lucky winner i suggest that you consider um buying this because you will save it in freight plus class plus the online presence analysis it's a great deal all right, that sounds like one of the best deals we got going out there. All right, let's shake it up. Uh, 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 uh. The winner of the one wash is Lee Moore from Crane Automotive Holdings. So Lee Moore, I'll shoot you an email or give you a phone call. Obviously, I got to shoot you an email. There's no phone number on this. So I'll shoot you a phone, uh, an email and let you know that you are the winner. All right. That's going to wrap up this session. I'd like to thank Anthony Analetto, Jim McClyman, Ryan Cook, Reggie Flanagan, and Miss Katie Pierce, as always. Uh, I'm your host, Bob Fox. I'll be back with you in about another hour, so enjoy the next segment. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, thank Bob. you. <laughs>